morning guys i look like a potato i just ended out my other vlog um so today is the 17th it is wednesday and i um wasn't gonna start off vlogging i was like i don't even know what i'm gonna do today that is the biggest fly in our house i have ever seen in my life but i started to clean out underneath our sink upstairs because my side has gotten crazy and i just started to be kind of honest with myself and be like i'm not gonna ever use 98 percent of this stuff so I'm throwing away a lot of stuff and like reorganizing and everything, but um, I had seen this idea on Pinterest where it was super cute in the bathroom. They had gotten like a little shelf, just a small little shelf that goes in the corner um, and put like glass containers that weren't see-through. They had like a design on them to put personal things in. And I was like, that's such a good idea. Um, and anyways, I was reorganizing everything under the sink and then I was like, let me go to Dollar General and see if they have like anything like that. I don't have a shelf for the bathroom, so I'm gonna put them in a cute little thing underneath the sink for now. But um, I need to go there anyways to get some contact solution. So I'm gonna leave my camera here so it can charge because it's really close to dying. And then um, when I get back, I'm going to bring you guys upstairs and we're gonna see what I can come up with. I had to put my hair up in like a really high ponytail because my bangs won't stay out of my face today. Um, so I am back from Dollar General, obviously. I couldn't find anything like I was talking about, but I reorganized under both sides of the sink, which was so, like, such a good feeling. I had this huge bag of trash, um, of stuff that was expired or stuff we're just not using that needed to go out and, um, stuff that I was keeping, like, why? Why am I keeping that? So that was really good to get both sides of that done. And then right now I'm going to work in the kitchen, but I want to show you guys what I did find at Dollar General. Um, this was like exactly, sorry it's so dark, what I was picturing for in here, um, and they were only $3. So granted they're not like the best quality, but they're, they're cute. So this is in the guest room. These little hanging like fake succulents, I don't know, they just are super, really they're not super great high quality, but they're not bad either. So, um... I think they're really cute. I still want to find like an old style little hat for over here or something. So I just kind of hung those in some different places for right now. But if I can get some more succulents for like back here, I probably will. I don't know. I just think it's super cute. In our kitchen, there's a couple places of the house that aren't like super messy, but this is our medicine cabinet and it's just a mess. Like there's stuff everywhere. So basically what I want to do is just go through everything, make sure everything's still in date. Birds get stuck in our screen den sometimes because we leave that door open for Suki to come get like water. Um, and it's always so scary if she's outside and one gets stuck in there. But anyways, so I'm going to go through everything right now, reorganize, and then I want to reorganize this cabinet too. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can organize it any differently, but it's just like a couple of these places are a little... I just want them to look different. So, um, again, here's my before. I'm gonna go through everything. I'm not gonna show you guys all of our medicines. <laughs> so, um, you know, for personal effects. But anyways, I'll show you guys once I'm finished kind of doing everything here. Suki is so pretty. Wow, okay, so this is what sparked this whole organization thing was we have one of these little, I'm not sure what they're called, but you put them over food in the microwave so they don't splatter. Um, a splatter guard that's gross um it was all the way over by our oven like in the farthest cabinet and i was like that just doesn't make sense to me so this is everything reorganized it looks crazy still and while i was doing this i had like a an idea of what i should have done you know those little clear like i'm not even sure what they're called but basically they're just clear like little tubs that you could put pins in or anything like that I think that would help a lot in here because I really like to organize medicine and stuff by what it's for. So like we have a ton of um, allergy relief and like mucus relief because me and Dustin are the most like mucus people in the world, which is gross, but true. And I am not embarrassed <laughs> at the fact like I, I want to be prepared for any instance. So I have like gas relief, we have Tums, we have everything. So. Um, I just feel like if I had those little like tubbies, cubbies or whatever to put everything in, I would like it a little bit better. But sometimes, honestly, you just have to take everything out, look at all of it and be like, yeah, I, I mean, I need all that and put it back in. I did get rid of a couple things that were expired, but it looks kind of overwhelming and crazy, but it is a little bit more organized. And then over here, I was able to clean out this little corner. So I still have to 
organize over here, but that should be pretty quick. Okay, so that was super simple and boring, um, but it looks a little bit better over here. Um, yeah, so I think that's done for organizing right now. Probably my next task for probably a different day, but I don't know. I always feel like I need to get down here and organize differently, but really all of it is, is like in little tubbies. This looks kind of crazy because this bag is, needs to be wound back up, but really, I guess I don't need to clean under there. It's pretty organized. So I'm just gonna load up the dishwasher, wash a couple dishes, get it started, and then I'm gonna go sit and edit. Hi guys. You I have dirt on my hand from Suki. Anyways. Just got home from work, it's Thursday. Today's like the 17th or 18th, let me see. I think it's the 18th, yeah. And yesterday I didn't pick up vlogging because I didn't do nothing the whole rest of the day pretty much. Oh, I didn't tell Dustin I got home though. He's gonna be like, are you okay? Yeah, I didn't do anything of consequence yesterday so I just didn't feel anymore, but I just got home from work. I went to CVS and got a couple things and um, Dustin is working late today so I think I'm gonna try to clean the house a little bit. I was gonna bring this bag in there to show you guys everything I got, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up. I've never had this K-Cup uh, coffee and it's the donut shop. I don't know why, but I see this one everywhere and it was on sale and I was like, I think I might try it. So I got that and then I got a couple random things that I will show you guys when I get in there and sit down. It feels so good outside today. It's like not too hot, but it's sunny. It's not cold. It's not windy. It's just really nice outside. So I think what I want to do, I want to get a book and sit outside because I was going to do that yesterday, I think, and even Monday, and I just never did. But it's really nice outside today. So I still need to edit, though, um, the rest of one video and film a video and also... Uh, clean this house a little bit, but I really don't want to do any of it. I want to sit outside and then I want to take a nap, but anyway What I got from CVS I have been on like the mission for Some white strips My teeth. I don't know if you guys can tell on this camera as much because it's the not as good They're so yellow and like I drink a lot of coffee and I like coke so I'm not really surprised at that, but normally mine clean up really easily and it's just not been working lately with the normal stuff I have. So I actually got a pretty good deal on this. Um, I don't think these were the ones that I thought they were, but that's okay. So how long do you leave these on for? It's been on my list since before Thanksgiving, I think, to go get whitening strips because my teeth have been like already kind of out of control before then, but they're super out of control now. And those were on sale for $15 off and then I had another $5 off coupon, so I did really good on those. Then this, I've been wanting to try, this is like all oral health, which is weird, but this is Gum Detoxify from Crest. I think Crest is the brand that Dustin won't use anymore though because he used one of their mouthwashes one time and um, it messed up his tongue for like, it's still kind of messed up to this day. And that was probably like two years ago or at least a year. And then he started looking online and um, there were a bunch of other people that also had that same issue with that same mouthwash. So he's like super freaked out about mouthwash now, but I can't remember if it was Crest or Colgate, but I'm still using Crest, so it didn't scare me. And then I got a mouthwash also from Crest, <laughs> which was on my list. If I was gonna get the whitening strips, I wanted to kind of do the upkeep on everything else too, which I already use a whitening toothpaste. Um, and I just don't know, it's just not, they look on camera when I'm looking at them right now, pretty white um, in person and more than anything in pictures, I've been looking and I'm like, ooh, girl. Like I find myself in every picture wanting to go to like Facetune and whiten them, but I'm like, but that's not what I really look like, so I'm not gonna do that. The last two things I got, this blush from Burt's Bees is just so pretty looking and like me, it, it's actually called Bare Peach. Um, I don't know, it's just nice and I like kind of mauve -y. Uh, blushes instead of like really pink blushes, which the one I picked up before this from Burt's Bees was like Lily pink or something and it was pink, but this one looks more my style and then I saw Revlon had this Facial roller and I've been wanting one of these so badly, but I cannot find like a really good affordable one This one was $12 and I don't know quality wise what it'll do for me, but um, I don't think it's probably as big as most of them on this end but it looks pretty good and I'm excited to try it. So I just spent a heck load of money at CVS accidentally, which is what happens every time I go into CVS, but 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to at least, I started to make a to-do list at work and then I completely, I just left it there and my shopping list. So um, I need to vacuum and wipe down everything at least. Like if I could just get that done, I'd probably be happy because I don't really need to deep clean. I just need to kind of pick up some places because it gets crazy in our house so fast and I don't know how. I'm not sure what I'll do. Good morning guys. It is Friday the 19th. I didn't film anything else last night. I'm, I'm doing not so great this week, but last night after I was like, I don't know, we'll see what I do. I didn't do like anything, um, which I hate. I do not like when I'm not productive, but um, oh, it's Yuki. you're sleepy girl this morning. My friend Zoe, who I admire so much, and um, I don't know, she's just really inspirational and encouraging to me, made a point the other day that I really liked, which was, um, something she's working on and she said that maybe I should work on too is not measuring your worth by what you get done in a day um, and I'm really big on measuring my worth depending on what I have gotten done in that day like it very much affects my mood if I'm productive or not sorry that Suki's little cot thing but I'm trying not to think like that and yesterday basically what I decided was I can either have today and like relax and kind of not do a lot or, um, and work today, Friday, or um, work a lot yesterday and then have today to relax. So I guess today will be my work day and that is fine. I work a really short shift today at um, my other job. It's like 11 to three. And um, yeah, it's like, it didn't start storming until late last night, but yesterday it was like already dark and I just did not, that did not set my mood up for <laughs> success. So. All I pretty much did yesterday was vacuum the house. I did my teeth whitening um, and then that was literally, oh well, it wasn't, that wasn't all. I did do meal prep, but then that got ruined <laughs> because I got Dustin's work schedule and I had forgotten we said we were going to his parents' house on Monday night for dinner and then Friday is our date night. So pretty much the whole week I was like, okay, let me just start over tomorrow. So today I'm gonna do that. It's like 10 or 9.45 maybe right now, it's 9.42. Um, I was going to go get my check from work and go deposit it before I like went in for my shift, but it's still raining and I just don't feel like, I don't know, doing that really. Um, Suki's not gonna be able to stay outside outside because it's raining um, and I don't want her to get soaked in, you know. She's, I think I've mentioned this before, she like does not get out of the rain. She, I, I don't know what's wrong with her, but she does not think like, maybe I should take cover. So um, basically I just wanna be able to stay here with her as long as I can. And then um, that way she'll kind of have a little bit more freedom and time to roam around. So I think that's all that's going on today. I am really excited because I just checked my tracking for our mail and I had ordered Dustin this devotional that I think is from Ravi Zacharias. It's like a new one from him, I think. Um, and Dustin talked about wanting it like right when it came out. Um, and I pretty much ordered it like a couple days after that, but I, w I had planned on getting it just kind of like a just because gift. And um, then, hi, you have your ball, sweet girl. Then last night, this happens to me every single time I try to like surprise Dustin with something last night. Thank you, that was his sweet kiss. Then a couple nights ago, Dustin was like, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that devotional. And I'm like, oh. like, I don't know. Mommy's not really upset. Whoa, is that a Suki bear? Whoa, oh, her teepee. Yeah, you're gonna get some good nap time today, I think. This happens all the time and it's usually something that's like a big gift. Um, when I got him his stuff for the Nintendo Switch, like the games and everything, there was some some game or like a part of it or like a controller or something, I can't remember what it was, but Dustin had found a really good deal on it and I already had it literally wrapped and at the house. And he was like, maybe I'll go ahead and get it today. And I had to be like, mm, I don't know if you think you can get it cheaper, like basically just lie my way out of do you think that's a good idea? So, um, anyways, this package today, that should be coming today, I'm excited that I saw that it was supposed to come today because he mentioned buying it, and when I first checked the tracking, I ordered it, like I said, a while ago, um, but it wasn't supposed to be here until Monday after 
um, Easter. So then when it was gonna be a little while, I decided I would just make it part of his Easter basket. I really hope it comes today, and I think if it does, he works until I think like midnight or later tonight, but I might just go ahead and give it to him tonight or tomorrow morning because um, tonight he works late. Tomorrow, I think he's getting up early and him and his dad are installing our um, garage opener the rest of the way because they started it a couple nights ago. Um, and then we're leaving after that to go to my dad's mom's and see an Easter play with her and spend like most of the day with her. Sunday, we're going to church and then we're going to Dustin's grandparents' house. So it's going to be a really busy weekend. And so I thought if I already got it in today, I would just go ahead and kind of, you know, since our weekend's going to be so busy, I have that book. And then I just have like a couple things of candy. I think I got him some Rice Krispies, which he loves those. Um, Reese's eggs, which he loves those. And that might actually be it. I didn't get a whole lot for him. So, um, yeah, that's it. Right now I'm like, I don't know what I want to eat. Um, my tummy doesn't feel great, but I won't eat lunch because since I work from 11 to three, I think it's kind of like a bad move on my part, kind of like selfish to take a lunch during that since it's so short. Um, even though it's kind of like during the day, it kind of falls during lunchtime. The, the amount of the shift is not much. So I'll eat lunch once I get home, but um, I'm thinking for breakfast, I have egg whites. I just don't want to really like cook anything. I don't know, I just want to go back to bed, kind of. I It stormed all night and it was like thundery and everything. Um, and I do not like storms, I don't know if you guys know that, but if it's like thundering, storming, lightning, like all this other stuff, I don't like it. Um, and it woke me up and then I can go back to sleep at like four o'clock this morning and I was like, <laughs> figure out breakfast and then I'll either see you guys in a little bit before I leave for work or I'll see you somewhere along the road for that. Hi, I'm finally home from work. I said finally, but work was normal, but I had to go to the bank after I left work and I kind of hung around work for a little too long and um, after my shift was over and sometimes if I do that, I get right in the middle of like after school traffic and I was in it, but I made another stop too at Pet Supermarket and I'm gonna show you guys everything I got for Suki for Easter, but I'm about to change it, get comfortable and eat some lunch because I haven't eaten today other than my banana and peanut butter that I had for breakfast, but I thought you guys might wanna see my outfit, so I'm gonna show you. Here's today's fit. I just did like a really messy bun back here that kind of turned into like half a ponytail, but um, this blazer is from H&M. And it's one of my favorites. I wish that this one had a little button on it because I think in some outfits, not this one because my hips are so big, but in some it would look really cute drawn that way too. But then the shirt is from Target. It's just a friend's shirt that I tucked in. My belt's from Forever 21 and my jeans, these are called a new something. I can't remember, but they're my favorite jeans ever. It's like ANA, I think. Um, but they're just really comfortable, fit really well. My shoes, I don't remember where I got these from, but I've had them for forever and I wear them all the time. So that's today's outfit. I just have a gold little watch on that Dustin got me a couple of years ago. Suki is having the puppy zoomies so <laughs> bad outside. So funny to watch her get the zoomies because she doesn't get them that often anymore. But she was chasing a bee out in the yard the other day going in like circle, 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 circle. And it was so funny. I was dying laughing, but... I'm gonna get comfy. Um, I'm gonna eat my lunch like I said, and then I'm gonna just kind of sit and, I thought that that was wind, but it was a truck. Um, I'm gonna try to make a to-do list for the rest of today so that I don't kind of get lost in like what I should be doing, because I think that's what happened yesterday. I had, I felt like I had a lot to do, and then when I was like trying to sit down and be like, okay, where do I start? I just kind of couldn't. Um, and so today, I'm going to, Hopefully not do that. I'm gonna put on some sweatpants and the shirt that I wore to sleep last night. So that's pretty fancy. If you guys are curious what I'm having for lunch, these are so good. There's no meat in them. Um, I'm not sure if Amy's makes ones that do have meat, but anyways, these are super, super good. Every time I eat these, I'm like, oh, I wish I had like five more or something. They're just so good. So it's just a little microwavable meal. Not home cooked, but it's very, very good. The thing is this. I've literally been thinking about eating this all day. It sounded so good. It says best before February 2019 and it's definitely almost May. So I probably shouldn't eat it, right? I'm gonna nab it. 
Luckily, I got Hot Pockets too. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Pet Supermarket. I'm gonna sit right here so I can show you guys it in some light. Weird angle, but whatever. So I got her an Easter bunny that she'll probably tear up in the first three seconds of having. I don't think it has a squeaker in it, which is kind of weird, but she is like the babiest, sweetest, cutest little thing about stuffed animals like this. This one is Jack the Yak and she'll just snuggle with him while she naps and I think it's the cutest thing ever, like literally snuggle with him. And then I got her another little like cheapy um, Frisbee. We really wanna get her a good quality one, but I was looking at the ones there and I was like, I can't remember which one Dustin said like was the a good, good one. And there was one that was like silicone almost. And he, I remember him saying something the last time we were in there, like that one didn't work out good or something. But I was like, I'll just wait on that. I really, I will tell you guys this. I did go in for her Easter stuff, but I really wanted to get her one thing for today. This is what we did instead. She loves these Himalayan dog chews. Now this one says for dogs 55 pounds and under. I'm pretty sure Suki's at least 70 if she's not already 100. But the 70 pound one, I was really confused. They're all the same size. So I was like, um, well, I'm not gonna pay like $24 when they're all the same price, I mean the same size. So I got her this one again. I just really have to keep my eyes on her when she does this one because sometimes now her teeth are so strong that she like bites it and it breaks. And so I have to take the little pieces away from her, but it's a nice supervised treat. I got her some pea nuttier um, treats. These are from Old Mother Hubbard and she really likes all of these treats. We've tried like every single flavor. She loves them. I got her these little cookies when, um, when it was her birthday. On her birthday, I got these. This is such a dumb reason to want these again, but she's so funny because some of them have like this little icing type stuff on it and some of them don't. And so what I started doing was holding out two, one with icing and one without icing. And I'd be like, okay, pick one. And she almost always picks the icing ones, but um, I don't know, she just really seemed to like those. And then the last thing that I got that was the first thing I found, she has a harness that I think I don't know if she's outgrown it or what's happened, but she was super great with her harness for a long time. And then all of a sudden she started acting like she was scared of it, like she didn't want to put it on. So then me and Dustin started wondering if it's gotten too small and it's a little uncomfortable on her. So this is called an Easy Rider and it's a car harness, but it says it doubles as a walking harness and it just looks really comfy and plush. The one that she has right now is not, um, it's, it's a Kong one, so it's really strong, but it's like a rope almost, not a rope, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's almost like a seatbelt, sort of. It's really tough material, so I thought that might be more comfortable on her. Um, and if she doesn't want to use it for walking, we'll just use it for in the car. So I hope that it works good for her. We'll see. She'll probably hate me when I'm putting it on. But my microwave just went off, so I'm gonna eat first, plan out what I'm doing the rest of the day, and then we'll hop to it. Okay, guys, I have a little bit of picking up to do, but pretty much my whole to-do list is like editing, which is not gonna be fun to watch my TV but I wanted to show you guys um, first what I think I'm gonna wear this weekend from all of my like Easter things and also I'm gonna go ahead and set up Dustin's Easter basket um, he works I think I told you guys this this morning but until like I don't think he'll be home until after midnight tonight and so um, I think I said this too earlier that I basically decided I was gonna go ahead and do all of his stuff tonight for him when he gets home so I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up now. Um, this is the devotional that he wanted and I'm so happy that it actually finally did come today. So I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna go upstairs. I hope it'll stay like that. It's very scary. I keep setting this up though, like he's gonna come in this door, but since our garage door is broken, maybe I should set it over here so he'll see it on the counter. Anyways, I'm gonna run upstairs and get the rest of his candy and stuff and then we'll set that up. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm not using my brain today. I was about to walk upstairs to get his candy, walk back downstairs, set it up, and then walk back upstairs to show you guys our Easter outfits. I don't know what's wrong with me. So tomorrow, when we go to see my grandma, we'll have to be in the car for like two hours-ish going um, there, and then two-ish hours coming home. So I don't think we'll do like matchy-matchy stuff tomorrow. Um, I think we'll just do like comfy stuff tomorrow. But I'm thinking I might wear this, whoops. This is like a super long flowy top and I wish I had like a pink cami or something to wear under it. But 
I'll probably just wear like a gray or white one under it and then some jeans that's pretty comfy for travel and everything and then um, maybe I can wear my little white slides and then for Easter Sunday I'm gonna wear this top that I've had for years so long and um, obviously it has like a lot of blues and everything in it and so I remember Dustin has this little polo and we'd match pretty good it doesn't look like it on camera but that's pretty much it and then after I picked out those two shirts I was like okay done planning so I can't remember if I have already told you guys this but um, do you like my look now potato Dustin's cousins got a puppy and they're bringing it Sunday I think so I'm like gonna wear nice clothes but I'm also gonna wear bring a change of clothes so that I can I forgot his candy <laughs> I'm gonna bring a change of clothes so that I can, I don't know what's wrong with my mind, play with a puppy and not worry about it. This is where I hid Dustin's Easter candy. It has worked for me very well. I kind of wish I would have, I was like able to get to some more candy wise, not that that's even what Easter is about, but I just couldn't think of anything for him other than what I got him. So Dustin loves Rice Krispie Treats, so I got him a little box of these. And he also loves um, the Reese's Eggs. This is build bunny that's weird though. So I guess this is like these pieces. I don't know, weird. Um, and then I got him this really random little thing of Cinnamon Toast Crunch because he loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I just got him the Cinnamon Toast. <coughs> that was weird. Well, that was a nice little choking fit I just had there. Um, I got him the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's like churros cereal too recently. So anyways, I'm gonna set all this up over here. Okay, that's pretty cute, right? Right? That just doesn't look like random stuff on my counter. No, it's cute. We've got him all set up. I'm thinking he'll come home to take his medicine in the cabinet. So surely he'll like look over here and I know he'll notice the Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna edit for probably the rest of the night. Um, sorry that it hasn't been a little bit more eventful. Um, I kept picking up the camera thinking maybe it would be, but I just lead a very boring, uneventful life. So I hope that you guys still enjoyed watching it anyways. I hope you enjoy how dark it is in this office. Good gracious, it's like a dungeon in here. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. Um, again, I filmed pretty much this whole video on my like not as great quality camera, so I hope that it looked okay for you guys. I'm already thinking about like, do I wanna invest in a nicer vlog camera or nah? But I'm thinking probably yes, just at some point I wanna be wise with my money like always. So anyway, if you're not already subscribed, please do so before you leave and I will see you guys in my next vlog.